got just enough of a cleat on it for Wade. Olivia Wade! The ball bounces off Grusklov and in! Olivia Wade breaks the scoreless draw, and the second half scoring theme continues for BYU. What a way to open the scoring for the season for Olivia Wade, her first on the 2022 campaign, and wouldn't you know it, She's made her way to Studio C to join us as our second guest of when the day. When you score a goal, you have a good <laughs> chance of being on the show, okay? Olivia, welcome back to the show. Thank you, guys. S Thank Sister you. Wade, what's up? We, I'm just doing good. We call so you much. that because uh, we hung out on a Zoom uh, for your yep, mission, yep, uh, yep. during your mission, because right. Jeremy Guthrie was your mission president, former sure Cougar pitcher. It was, yep, it was. Now, That's so funny. Well, now you're back doing your thing. Mm -hmm. uh, fully, it's been like two years, right? Fully That's integrated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's been a minute. Sister Wade still goes, though. Yeah. So can, sorry. Can Sister Nodding, Sister Wade. Can you now <laughs> say that being a return missionary was a significant advantage for you as a Division <laughs> One athlete? I can say yes. At one point, I was I was questioning that. I was like, when I first got back, I was like, eh, I don't know about this. But no, it, it has been, I feel like, so. This just in. North Carolina and Santa Clara, they're all going on missions. They're all yeah. going to send their players <laughs> on the mission. Okay, yeah, go because for 18 months. it's such an advantage. Oh, See big what time. It's like. Yeah, yeah um, what was that goal like? Should the, goal, should the goalie have saved that one? Honestly, I feel like she probably should have. Like, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't the most beautiful shot I've ever taken in my life. But I feel like, you know, sometimes you just got to put it on frame. You put it on frame. Good things happen. That spin, so. that little bit of top spin <laughs> on that ball, like it kind of freaked her Tricked out. Tricked her out. Yeah. So. That was the skill part of that, right? It's yeah. on frame and the spin. I like that. Yep. Listen, you guys are known for just the assault on the goal. 42 shots against Ohio State. 13 on frame. I know you guys want more yeah. on frame for sure. Yeah. Walk me through sort of uh, the philosophy and strategy of, okay, how do we get more on frame to make this uh, tougher on the defense? Yeah, I think obviously a lot of it comes down to just shot selection. I think some of the times some of our shots are from some distance, which isn't always necessarily bad. But which I think, both were both outside the yeah. box yesterday, yes. which is yes. the both irony goals. of this yes. exactly. discussion. But I think, too, like if you look at the games against Ohio State and then obviously yesterday against Colorado, um, a lot of the teams, like, they kind of just, like, sit in the box. There's a lot of chaos in there. So, you know, what's open is, like, the shot from outside. And so I think just being able to be more patient, you know, obviously keep taking shots because, like, we have to keep taking shots to score. But, you know, I think just being a little more careful with our shot selection to be able to, you know, put it more on frame and then, you know, good things come from that. And then when that doesn't happen, both go in again. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, yeah. that was the funny part of it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's recap the season to date. Going back to the North Carolina game. By mm -hmm. the way, North Carolina is now ranked number one mm -hmm. in the nation. Okay, then. Yes. Okay, then. Do they you agree, with, do you agree with that? One. Having I do. played them, you think they're I, super legit? I do agree. I think they're going to be a phenomenal team. Like, obviously, we got to play them right at the beginning of, you know, the season. And just the way they play, the style they play, like the players they have, they, I think they definitely deserve to be up there. So. Okay. Then you go and you beat Fullerton. Mm -hmm. uh, you knock off Ohio State, as we pointed out, just peppering the 42 shots. Mm -hmm. It's not like you were much different than Colorado yesterday, yeah. ending up in a 2-2 draw, but... Through the exhibition and three matches, how would you assess the team overall? I think we're in a really good spot. Like, I think we're in a really good spot moving forward. You know, we are getting our shots off, which is great. You know, last year being the number one scoring offense in the country, you know, that's something that obviously we want to carry into this season. And so shooting and, like, you know, getting your shot off, having that presence as an offense is super important for us. And so I think we're in a really good spot. I think just as soon as we can really get those shots to kind of fall on frame, I think it's going to be a heck of a season for us. So... Against Ohio State on the broadcast, there was just a ton of music playing the whole time. Was that in the stadium or outside the stadium? I think it was outside the stadium. They okay. kind of have like this blow up, like I don't really know, like a jump house going on outside the stadium. They had some activity. It, yeah. It was very loud. Yes, I it thought, was. why are they playing music? Yeah, in we the didn't stadium? know. Yeah, so. and, and I've been to campus a couple of times. I was like, yeah, it, it's a big campus, but yeah. like something's going on right next yeah. to it. Okay, thanks for answering. Yeah, that. so there was a jump house going on, so not really. Wow, the bounce hey. house? <laughs> yeah. The bounce house is just, yeah. <laughs> I thought, I thought that was Central Florida, but yeah. yes. Um, Bright House is the name of the stadium. Nice. Yeah. Well, they nicknamed yes. the, the, uh, the Bounce House. house uh. So tell me about this, uh, this team, because you aren't last year's team, mm -hmm. but a lot of the team is from last year's team. Yes. You're carving out your own identity. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like that identity is right now? I think, you know, it's still really early in the season to kind of tell, like, exactly, like, this is who we are as a team. But I think moving forward, like, obviously, we have a lot of new young players, and they've gotten some good minutes and done a really good, like, a lot of really good things for us. And so, obviously, we have a lot of returning players as well. And so I think it's just trying to figure out kind of, you know, like, what our identity wants to be. Obviously, we want to be a great goal-scoring team. That's something that, you know, is expected out of us, something we want to continue. And then, obviously, our defense is, like, Super important as well. We bring back basically, 
yeah, our entire starting back line. And so, yeah, I think just both of those things combined, just, you know, working on those both to create that as kind of like our identity. New rule change in the NCAA created a scenario where you didn't get to yeah. play any overtime yesterday. Yep. And it ends in a 2-2 draw at the end of regulation. There's yeah. no overtime mm -hmm. until you get to tournament play in the postseason. Mm -hmm. um, and watching the BYU team, you included, walk out the field after that 2-2 draw, I couldn't help but notice, like, there just was this feeling of, ugh, yeah. ugh. And I looked at the Colorado sideline, and they were all like, yes! <laughs> we got, it. We got, got a, a result! They got a yeah. top 10 tie in the We got a result! Yeah. 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 How do you overcome that in a game or in a week where you play three matches? Yeah. You got to turn the page fast. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's unfortunate that it ended in a tie because I feel like we did feel like we had more to give. You know, there were shots that I feel like we could have put in. You to, dominated possession. 100%. You dominated statistically. Yes. 2-2 two, two draw. Yeah. And I think that's like, I think a lot of teams around the country are kind of seeing that no overtime. Like, you got to get you got to take care of business, you know, in the first two halves. Like, you can't just rely on an overtime, you know, the most athletic, most in-shape team to, like, stay in there. It's like, we got we got to put away our goals and, you know, and then try to avoid having to, you know, end in a draw. Like yeah. Yesterday. So when, do, when are you over that mentally? Like, at what point? An hour after the game? <laughs> this morning? Are you over it? This, are you over it yet? I mean, I was, I'm, I'm pretty sad. I think all of us were like a little frustrated just because we felt like we should have gotten the result, especially at home. But I mean, you, you have to just leave it in the past. Like we do have two more games this week. So I think it's something you can't dwell on for too long. So, yeah. How do you manage that? Because you have Alabama coming in Thursday mm -hmm. uh, out of the SEC and then Northridge right on Saturday. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, quick turnaround. Three games in a week is kind of a lot, but you know, we just got to keep the ball rolling. We don't have, I mean, obviously learn things from the previous games, but don't dwell on them for too long, you know. So, this, I think, just moving forward, just really going to focus on putting shots away early, getting our shots on frame, and you know, if we do that, we should be, we should be fine. Well, new rankings come out later today, so we don't know. Currently, Alabama is not ranked. Maybe they jump mm -hmm. in. I talked to Brent Anderson, your assistant head coach, mm -hmm. yesterday, and he said Alabama is better than Colorado. Yeah. So, Olivia, do you want Bama? We do want Bama. We do. <laughs> so we're excited. We we do want Bama. You know who doesn't? Utah State in football this week. <laughs> that's that's a tough one. It's gonna be a bloodbath. <laughs> yeah. That's a 42-point line. Holy yeah. shit! Olivia, congratulations Thank on you. uh, your successes in your new role as that you know that sneaky six position, <laughs> defensive. I mean, you got to yeah. do everything. You got to be yeah. all. You have to play all over the field. I do. It's it's great. I love it. And we're gonna give you some BYU awesome. Sports Nation karma so that Thank you can you. dominate all over the field. Because you want Bama. We do. You go get Bama. Thank you. <laughs> you right. go get Bama. <laughs> we will. Thanks, Olivia. Thank you, guys. You got it. Okay.